Hello everyone. I have decided to give Forklift Simulator 2023 a try, because I feel I'm in a unique position to comment on it. Because as far as I know, I'm the only VTuber who is Forklift certified. Yeah. <laughs> I find the memes funny, it's weird how that became a thing. Anyway, let's take a crack at this. You'll see that there's already a little bit of progress. Uh, my first recording of this kind of uh, shat the bed. So this isn't as fresh of a look as I wanted it to be originally. Either way. Oh, there we go. Alright. Let's go in from day one. Alright. So, this is our forklift. See, this is a three lever lift. So we've got our up and down. We have our side shift. And we have our tilt. All right, that lever's moving the right way. All right, they have the levers moving the correct position. Oof. Okay. The gas pedal is just a wee bit sensitive. Alright, where is this going? Over there. So it steers from the rear, which is correct. Alright, let's... There we go. Get rid of that tilt. Back up. Oh, okay. I, I see how this works now. You adjust the throttle. You don't hold it. Okay, that, that makes controlling this a little more manageable. Just the good old fashioned unloading a truck. Alright, so depth perception is a little bit of an issue. So, the controls are a little, uh, overly sensitive, but it feels pretty alright. Side shift. Yeah. Lack of depth perception is kind of uh, not working for me. It's a good thing I can't shove my forks through the boxes. Alright, where is this going? Cause yeah, that totally would have just destroyed that merchandise, whatever this is.
Yep. Still getting used to these controls. But, all in all, this feels pretty right. I think it'd feel more right if I had an actual steering wheel and pedals, like one of those racing controllers. But, uh, my whole shtick is I'm not spending money. Come on. And, well, this was like a $3 game. I'm not buying peripherals for a $3 game. Now, are my forks long enough to get both at once? Let's push against the back. Nope. Ah. The forks on my lift at work is uh, are long enough to get two of these half pallets. But uh, oh, no. Where the hell is this supposed to go? Oh. Why no line? Now, I'm, I presume these have some kind of liquid in them. I don't know why you would put them on a second shelf of a rack. Eh, whatever. I'm just the lift driver, I'm not in charge of, organ charge of organizing shit. And there we go. God, <laughs> if only it was that lucrative. I've made in five minutes, probably more than I make in a week. <laughs> I don't know why my steering went all funky. Then I just realized, this lift doesn't have any mirrors. That's actually kind of a... Uh, not great for dealing with people moving around you. Because people will just kind of walk around you as you're moving a, you know, four-ton piece of equipment carrying two tons of material. Because people are dumb. Street is out. Like, people walking around in a factory setting, they will just walk right in your fucking way. Without a care in the world. They just assume you won't hit them. And while that's true, it's still annoying. Like, come on, you apes. Oop. Physics? Physics. Um. I think I just broke it. <laughs> okay, uh, found a physics bug. Wonder if I can use a rack to pull it off my forks. There we go. Just had to let physics uh, unbreak. Yep, 
Yeah, the one thing you don't deal with actually professionally is, uh, like, non-Euclidean physics-breaking bullshit. That's, uh... Fortunately, that's not a thing in the real world. You usually just end up with pallets breaking when you hit shit. Damn, how slow do they expect people to go to not get that bonus? <laughs> Alright, load the truck. Optimizing space and weight distribution, blah 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 blah. Just put the shit in the truck. Alright. That'd be nice if real life had one of these yellow lines. The amount of times I've spent more time looking for stuff than actually loading it. Only to find out that, oh, sorry man, someone already pulled that pallet yesterday and didn't mark down that they did. Oops. Guess you just wasted 45 minutes for nothing. Which, hey, I'm hourly, so I don't really care too much. Come on. Really not liking the lack. Yep, no death perception. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to OSHA, you're not supposed to move around while raising or lowering your forks, but, uh, OSHA can suck a fat one. Like, I'm wearing a hard hat right now, but, well, <laughs> I'm too tall to wear one while driving a lift in real life. My head hits the uh, roll cage. So anytime someone comes and bitches to me about wearing a hard hat, I'll put it on, and then I just mash my head against the roll cage and ask them, uh, you gonna give me a bigger lift? And they usually just give me the pass on the hard hat. Okay, come on. Uh, depth perception, you son of a bitch. There we go. Now, that is one thing to watch out for. I've seen a lot of people keeping their forks up smash right through one of those freight doors. It's funny, the, uh, the first job I had where I learned to drive a lift, the uh, OSHA certified instructor managed to tip a lift over doing that. Because he had his forks raised up and he was backing through a freight door. Of course, the top of the mast hits the uh, freight door, and he was just going. He didn't think to hit the brakes. So, of course, you know, it being the lift being a great big L shape, you push the top of the L, the whole thing tips over. <laughs> he wrecked the freight door. Quite an embarrassing story for him. And he was our uh, certified instructor. Yeah. Driving a forklift isn't exactly a uh, high skill level profession. I do it because it's easy and I can listen to stuff on headphones all day. Like I pretty much get to uh, sit on my ass and listen to podcasts and uh, stream VODs all day. Which is nice. Again, OSHA would probably flip a shit fit over me wearing headphones working, but hey. 
I've been doing this shit for a depressing number of years and ain't held anyone yet. Oh, come on, that's in there. There, now we're nice and square. Yeah, this actually feels pretty natural playing this. So I, I, I give the people who made this game a pretty good score as far as uh, faithfully reproducing driving a forklift around. Except the steering is a little oversensitive sometimes. But that's just kinda... Steering is always sensitive on keyboards, that's not exactly their fault. Yeah, the only trouble I'm having is kind of the limitations of it being a game. Keyboard steering and lack of depth perception. Otherwise, this just kind of feels like I'm on the job. Catching on my forks. There we go. Yep. There's that steering. And the tunes aren't bad either. Like, they were very obviously going for like a rural blue collar soundtrack, but it's actually fairly inoffensive. It's a good thing you can't beat up these racks like in real life. Because, uh, yeah. Depth perception is very much a necessity. Let's see. No, it's... See if that's right on the first try. Nope. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let's see if I can get us. Yep. All right. That's how you fix that. 
That's one thing a lot of people who are new to driving forklifts don't realize is your forks are basically arms. It's like they aren't just for picking stuff up. You can push, you can pull, you can flip. Like, pretty much anything you would use your arms for, other than grabbing, you can do with your lift. So that was a uh, clumsiness on my part knocking that over, but hey, I got to show you how you would naturally try and flip something. Now, considering that's, you know cardboard I would have just crushed it instead but hey pretend it's magical indestructible cardboard all right so that's the warehouse environment actually let's look at the other lifts oh yeah that's that's a single wheel electric here we go this is what I drive. More or less. I don't see a propane tank on it, so this is probably still electric. Mine's a propane. So let's hop into the factory. Cargo switch. Wait, I thought I clicked the factory. Factory, day three. I think something messed up. Yeah, we already did this level. What the hell? Uh, is this level one? No. Ah, they tried to be tricksy. Trixie Hobbitses. Now, at this point, because of how narrow that is, and how tight of a fit, I would just get off my lift and move my forks closer together. But, can't do that. I wonder if there's a four-lever lift in this game. Because that's usually what a fourth lever would do, is it adjusts the distance between the forks. Alright, shift all the way left. Slip in there. You see, like when your forks are just barely wide enough, if you aren't perfectly straight, it sticks. Which is why you just kind of get off your lazy ass and adjust the fork distance. Okay, now we're back to a center line. this going right there.
There we go. And that's the little side shift shuttle shovel. Yeah. Get my words back in my mouth. Side shift shuffle. Where you basically like shift all the way over, drop it, shift all the way back, pick it up again. That way you can kind of shimmy something sideways without having to move your whole lift. What's it, uh, what? They want it facing the other way or something? Oh. Really, is this too heavy for me to just turn? Facing this way. Probably not getting the time bonus for this one. Just because I've fucked around a little too much. Alright, and they want it over there. And let me guess. They're probably going to want this one turned sideways too. Nope, just the one. Alright. Continue. Alright. Now let's see if it'll let us do the factory level. Okay, and now we're in the factory. Rearranging shit to make space. Now these racks are set at annoying height, because you saw how getting my uh, steering rack, not steering rack, fork rack, at the proper height, it blocked my view of the rack itself. Yeah. I just noticed. There's no hydraulics on the mast. Hm. Like, unless this is a totally electric lift. But all the electric ones I've driven ha still have hydraulic masts. That's weird. So, lack of mirrors and lack of visible hydraulics, that's unusual. But, those are relatively minor things on an otherwise Honestly, pretty well done game. Nope. 
here's where the advantage of side shift comes in. Oh, I was already side shifted over. Really? Not gonna let me nudge it? Okay, there's, there's that. There we go. Yeah, no, I'm not getting that from the side. That's the stupid way to do it. the uh, equipment. I've actually seen people back right into actual like manufacturing equipment. It's like no all those delicate hydraulic valves on the back side of a you know mold injection press ah those aren't good for it. Just smash them. That was just a quick little look at Forklift Simulator 2023. And I'd say, as far as mechanics go, a fairly faithful reproduction of driving a forklift. I mean, the only issues I really had with it were the inherent limitations of doing something on a computer. You know, your WASD controls aren't going to be the same as a steering wheel and a gas and a brake pedal. But uh, and the lack of depth perception because screens don't screens don't do depth perception. But yeah, I'd say for a fun little three dollar game, if you want to see what it's like to drive a forklift, this is actually pretty spot on. So uh, yeah, I'd give this a uh, forklift simulator twenty twenty three a solid recommendation. Anyway, I'm going to call it here because uh, this is my day job after all, and I don't exactly want to spend all night doing what I do at work. So, uh, good night, y'all. <laughs>